Hello, principals of Brink. My name is JJ Fincher, and my teammate Victor is behind the camera, and our teammate Miles is unable to be with us currently. And today we're going to present to you about leisure, recreation, and play. To begin with leisure, leisure is defined as a person's free time to do what they wish without compulsion. So kind of like what you do in your free time like, or your break time. Um, and we were assigned the classic view, which is like doing an activity for the activity itself. Like um, examples would be uh, art, political debate, or philosophical discussion. Me personally, I align best with the art because I like to draw and paint. And actually this past weekend, I went out to Mount Nebo and I painted the sunset, which I should have brought my painting, but I forgot. Um, and that is how my, what I how I used classical the classical view of recreation. And I'm gonna come back and work the camera and let my teammate Victor tell you about recreation. Thank you. I'll be speaking to you today about recreation. The definition of recreation is activities or experiences that occur during leisure time. It is voluntary and intrinsic. We as a team decided to do recreation as an outcome in which Griffin and Gray argue that recreation can be perceived as the outcome of participation. Some examples of this would be Arkansas Game and Fish outdoor skills program in which you earn patches after completing educational um, activities and it'll give you a skill give you new skills and a sense of mastery the next another example would be exercising in which you can use it for weight loss which has health benefits in school is our last example of recreation because it can give you a sense of accomplishment and you can do it just for the sake of your passions. Okay. Uh, me personally, I love the example Arkansas Game and Fish Outdoor Skills Program. I enjoy earning patches. I uh, will be handing this over to JJ now to talk about play. Thank you, Victor. You're welcome. For play, we, uh, so it's defined as human or animal activity behavioral style that is self-motivated and we were we were assigned the relaxation theory which is kind of again it's like opposite of the like surplus energy theory which is meant for burning your excess calories kind of like almost like going for a run after like a long sedentary day in the office this is like a different view and I, I like it a lot better because um, it's much more like rejuvenate you so like I remember I was like a kid coming home from school and like I was bored all day but when I came home I played with my friends on the trampoline and like that kind of like brought my spirit back like brought my energy level back up and like I was like I kind of forgot about my day a little bit like I was just kind of happy and uh, it can help you like it's supposed to help you like mentally as well as like physically kind of like almost like rejuvenating the body after a long day is what it's meant for and uh, some examples would be Kind of like I said, playing on trampoline or like playing video games. Um, I know a lot of people like to play video games after a long day of classes or uh, watching TV. I know my parents really enjoy watching TV after work. And uh, my favorite, though, is fishing. I, I love to fish. And it's what I do a lot of the time whenever I get out of class. I, um, I'll go to work and I'll go, I'll go fishing and like it, it helps me to like process my day and like I think about what I learned in class but it's like fishing is like I don't know it's low pressure and it just it helps me get through my day um, and 
Victor will tell us about our references now. References that we use today and the whole week while putting together this presentation with the book and we used chapter one foundations of recreation and leisure pages 1 through 22 that would be all for our presentation today if you guys have any questions be sure to ask We'd love to hear them. Um, See you on Super Tuesday. Right. We hope you have a great afternoon. Um, see you guys in class Tuesday.